Hi, I'm David Salazar. And I'm Francisco Salazar. And we're Opera Wire bringing you the news on TDO Network. The Royal Opera House has announced its plans for its 21-22 season. The new season will feature new productions of Rigoletto, Handel's Teodora, Genufa, Peter Grimes, and Samson y Dalila. There will also be a performance of Carmen to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the Royal Opera House Covent Garden. Revival productions will include Nabucco starring Anna Netrebko, Tosca starring Angela Giorgi, Sonia Yoncheva and Madama Butterfly, Macbeth, La Traviata with six different sopranos, Don Pasquale, Cosi Fantute, Lohengrin, and a concert performance of Attila. Russell Thomas will star in the title role of Otello, while Hermonella Yajo, Jonas Kaufmann, and Anita Rashvalishvili will appear in Pagliacci and Cavalleria Rusticana. As France continues to see an exponential spread of the new variant of COVID-19, two major opera houses in Paris have canceled all performances through April. The theater Champs-Élysées has announced it has canceled or postponed all performances through April 21st. Among the canceled concerts are Mozart's Coronation Mass, Bellini's Ipuritani, and Handel's Tamerlano. Concerts that have been rescheduled include recitals by Elsa Dreisig and Michael Spires. Meanwhile, the Opera de Paris has canceled all performances through May 2nd. The decision will affect productions of Faust and Notre Dame de Paris. Rehearsals for Tosca will continue as it is set to open in May. The Senate of Berlin has announced that it will be postponing its pilot program for the reopening of cultural venues, opera houses, and concert halls due to new regulations implemented by the federal government of Germany in combating the spread of COVID-19. Among the companies affected by the decision are the Staatsoper Unter den Linden and the Deutsche Oper Berlin, which were set to premiere performances of Le Notte di Figaro and Francesca da Rimini on April 2nd and 4th respectively. Companies have announced that they will inform audiences about potential new dates in due time. The Michigan Opera Theater has announced its 2021-22 season. The company announced that the season will include indoor and outdoor productions, and all productions will have backup plans in case of coronavirus outbreaks. The company also announced that Christine Gorky will become its associate director. The season will be broken up into two parts, Act 1, Out and About, which will include Cavalleria Rusticana, starring Christine Gorky, Bliss, and Blue, and Act 2, Coming Home, which will include Frida, starring Catalina Cuervo, La Boheme, and X in a new revised edition of Anthony Davis's opera starring Devon Tynes. La Boheme will be the company's return to the Detroit Opera House following the pandemic. Opera Philadelphia has announced plans to bring back live audiences for three concert performances of Puccini's Tosca. The drama of Tosca is a 90-minute concert adaptation of the famous opera and will take place outdoors at the TD Pavilion at the Man in Philadelphia's Fairmount Park. The performances, which are scheduled from May 5th, 7th, and 9th, will star soprano Ana Maria Martinez in the title role, Brian Jade as Cavaradossi, and Quinn Kelsey as Scarpia. All three stars will be making their company debuts. And that's a wrap on this week's episode. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.